Yo, we filming already? Oh, yo, yo, okay, okay. <clears throat> well, uh, hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to the new Harley Davidson Street Glide. We have a beast of a motorcycle in front of us. This thing is huge. It is long, it is heavy, it is big, it is everything you want to ride, be honest. Seriously, this bike is very good looking. I have to say in this blue color scheme, really, really, really nice. Now we have the famous 117 Milwaukee 8 engine. American derived, it is in European terms a 1,900cc engine um, planted into this big uh, motorcycle. It revs to 8,000, but I guess you don't want to push it over 5,000 RPM. Uh, the most torque you're going to feel at 3,000 RPM and it's overall a very comfortable motorcycle to go on a long tour with. We have, we have dual disc brakes at the front and the rear. We have a um, bigger, a longer suspension travel in the rear. We have 76 millimeters more travel in the back, which is great. So even more comfort for you and your spine. The seating position, let me have a seat here, is very comfortable. Now, um, let me be the pillion first. Pillion position, very comfortable. I have this back support here, really comfortable. However, I don't have anything to grab here on the side. I, I, either I hold myself in the back here, or I guess I just hold the rider if, if they let me, if, they, if, if they're kind enough, if they let me. Um, but yeah, that's that. Otherwise, we have a huge tank of 22.7 liters. And uh, yes, before I forget, let me show you the riding position of this Harley. So I am 169 or 170 centimeters tall, uh, depends on the day and my shoes. And the seating position is okay. I have to say, this is the, the inseam is very, very large. So I, it's not really that comfortable for me. As long as the side stand is down, um, I have to say it is kind of large, but, but yeah, once I put my feet up here, it is very comfortable. I have my knees on the tank, which is great. I uh, can also put my feet here. Um, however, I have to say I can't lean back. Like I see many Harley riders leaning back and enjoying their ride. I guess I'm too short for that. I have to be more upright, I guess, but at the same time, I, I would need the handlebar to go a bit more into my direction to, for it to be more comfortable. Uh, but yeah, I guess, I guess maybe you could set it up in a different way or just, no, you, I, can't sit, I can't sit on the tank. I, I need to be set here. I don't know. I don't know if this is that comfortable for me, to be honest. I would have to try it. Otherwise, let's move on to the front fairing, which is new. Look at the beautiful LED headlights. The very good looking and the blinkers are integrated as well. So you have them here and here. Yeah, all right. You obviously have warning blinkers as well. Great feature, very useful. Um, otherwise, this whole thing, this whole fairing made the bike more aerodynamic. About 60% less wind hits your helmet now um, when riding this beast. Otherwise, we have huge panniers here, as you can see. Uh, you open them the old fashioned way, so there's no electronic locks or whatever. You can put 
many beautiful things in your saddlebags here, but make sure not to exceed 20 pounds. It says right here, you cannot put more than 20 pounds with 9.1 9 kilos of stuff into each saddlebag and always make sure to distribute the weight evenly. Great, let's close them very cautiously. <laughs> Again, I don't want to be responsible for any bad things happening. All right, uh, there you go. There you go. Otherwise, the exhaust is typical Harley Davidson exhaust. Looks very beautiful. This bike is like this as standard. It comes with these uh, crash protection bars as standard. And now what I would like to show you is one of the biggest news. It's huge TFT screen. Come over, let's see what's happening here. All right, so let's start off with the riding modes. We have four modes in total. If I, if I press mode, you can see user mode, rain mode, road mode, and sports. User mode, obviously configurable as you want. You go into the menu, uh, you enter user mode, and then you get to choose engine braking, uh, standard minus one minimum, plus one maximum, and then you can go to throttle response, plus one maximum, minus one minimum, same traction control, uh, road, rain and sport are your three options here, and the ABS system can also be set to rain or road mode. This is a great feature in my opinion. Uh, everybody loves different riding modes. But apart from these, you get to change many other settings. Of course, you can um, connect your phone as well. Here, it's a great thing. You can listen to your music on these huge 200 watt speakers. They work uh, very well. We tried them out here in the studio. Um, you have your sound uh, settings as well. Your equalizer, you get to modify it a bit if you want to. Obviously the system changes, nothing special, language and units and so on. Uh, riding modes I already showed you, your phone, uh, you can obviously um, call people and pick up the phone. Here you have buttons for your microphone as well and uh, for the telephone to pick up the phone or to hang up. You even have Wi-Fi settings in case you need them. Okay, so the bike wants me to tell you that you can connect your Apple CarPlay to it. Now, entering the navigation uh, menu, which takes a while, sometimes it's a bit laggy, you get to connect your Harley Davidson Street Glide to your Apple CarPlay device, which is a great thing. However, like it says here, if you want Apple CarPlay, you need to connect a headset. So uh, be wary of that. Great, so navigation feature is included, a great thing, but I would suggest using Apple CarPlay, which works better and is less laggy. Great, so another feature I wanted to show you are these gauges. You get to modify the gauges as well, depending on uh, how you woke up. You have cruise, the cruise gauges, the cruise setup is the one you can see right here with your speed and uh, you, how much gas you got in the tank and your RPMs and the battery state. You have sport gauges here, which indicate everything in another way. And last but not least, you have tour mode, which is, I guess, more uh, touring oriented. You get to see the gear you're in and the speed, your gas mileage and the tire pressure as well. This is very useful. You can also set the display to night mode, to dark mode, or to day mode, uh, or, or set it um, so it, it changes automatically. You can have a high contrast if you want to, which doesn't suit me at all. I dislike this very, very much, I have to say. I would never, uh, never not have it in dark mode. And you can turn off the touch uh, noises it makes, which I would do as well. Great, so that's about it from this screen. Um, it is very, very, very modern. The touchscreen itself is very responsive, I have to say. However, uh, the navigation system is not. Otherwise, of course, you have cruise control on this mega cruiser of a bike. It would be weird if this hadn't one. Um, 
And yeah, overall, I think that's it. You here can open the fuel cap without a key. Uh, just use your finger and then open it, which I guess is cool, but if you live somewhere or places, if you live somewhere where people don't leave you with anything or just steal whatever they can, I guess they're gonna rob you of your fuel at night, but I sure hope that won't be the case for you. Otherwise, a novelty is this seat. It is now a one-piece seat. As you can see, it is no longer split in two. And uh, you have a small luggage system in the back as well, uh, in case you want to bring even more um, luggage with you. I think I said it all. Uh, in case I forgot something, let me know in the comments down below. Um, would you get one of these bikes? Wait a second, hold up. There's an important thing I forgot. The price, the price, the price and the weight. Now this bike, guess how much it weighs? In its CVO special 25th century version, it weighs 363 kilos. However, this is not the CVO special version. This is the normal version. So this one weighs even more than that. It weighs about 374 kilos dry. Yes, dry. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and the price, the price, well, the price has not been announced in every part of the world yet. However, we know that in Germany, this bike will cost you almost 40,000 euros. We're speaking about 38, 39,000 euros. It's gonna be less in pounds, obviously, and probably in dollars as well, as this is a ma an American product. With that, I'm concluding this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you liked it and see you in the next one. Bye.